10 Dead in Buffalo. I'm Ben Thomas with an AP News Minute. Police are calling Saturday's supermarket attack a hate crime. Authorities say 11 of those shot are black, two are white. AP correspondent Julie Walker has details. Well, active shooter at the top. There are still shots being fired. Broadcastify.com picking up police fire and EMS dispatch. We got at least three people down. Witnesses say the shooter was a young white male dressed in full camo with a helmet and a rifle. He walked into the store and began shooting, then walked out, dropped the gun, and was tackled by police. Investigators believe he was live streaming the shooting and are looking at an online manifesto that could be his, as well as investigating whether the shooting was racially motivated. The supermarket is in a predominantly black neighborhood. I'm Julie Walker. Among the dead was security guard Aaron Salter, a retired Buffalo police officer. The police commissioner says Salter returned fire, but the gunman was wearing body armor and the bullets had no effect. In other news, Finland has declared it wants to join NATO. The announcement comes as top diplomats from 30 NATO member states meet in Berlin to discuss further support for Ukraine. With Russia's military advance appearing to falter, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg says he hopes Ukraine can win the war. And in coronavirus news, Shanghai officials say they will allow some businesses, including food markets and restaurants, to reopen Monday. It's unclear whether residents will be able to leave their homes, though. And North Korea says it's confirmed 15 more deaths from COVID-19 and hundreds of thousands of additional patients with fevers. It's the country's first acknowledged COVID-19 outbreak. I'm Ben Thomas, AP News.